And now, your WCBX Pinpoint Weather with Chief Meteorologist Jordan Dressman. It was a hot afternoon across North Alabama, Southern Middle Tennessee. Temperatures consistently climbing into the low and mid-90s. A couple of us did manage to climb into the upper 90s. Florence, for example, saw a high this afternoon of 97 degrees. Huntsville International saw 95. Athens, Decatur saw 93. Scottsboro, good evening, saw a high this afternoon of 93 degrees. So did Fayetteville and Pulaski. Both saw highs this afternoon of 93 up in Southern Middle Tennessee. A heat advisory is set to go into effect tomorrow morning, 10 o'clock tomorrow morning for everybody across North Alabama, Southern Middle Tennessee, except Lincoln County up in southern Middle Tennessee and Jackson, DeKalb, and Marshall counties in northeast Alabama. In those locations, the heat index isn't going to be as high as it's going to be everywhere else. Let's talk about our controlling weather pattern. That includes an area of high pressure hanging out over the Great Plains. That area of high pressure is not going to stick with us through just Thursday, but as we head into Friday as well. What does this area of high pressure do for us? It puts us under an incredibly stable air mass. We get a lot of sunshine, allowing temperatures to climb incredibly fast fast through the middle and later part of the morning and then eventually into the afternoon. Not much in the way of any cloud cover and we are definitely not talking about any rain. I don't have a single drop of rain in the forecast until we get to really Saturday and not even really real rain in the forecast until we get to Sunday. We're dry and warm as we head into the overnight. I think a little bit of patchy fog is liable to develop across the Tennessee Valley. I've got a low right around 72 degrees. That fog isn't going to stick around very long. Not a bad morning across the Tennessee Valley. If you have anything to do outdoors, might I suggest doing it early. You're going to have to do it early or it's just going to be too miserable to do it in the afternoon. 73 by 7 o'clock, 77 by 8, 85 degrees by the time we get to 9 o'clock. From there, temperatures only continue to climb. It looks like we'll finish the day consistently in the mid and upper 80s. 96 tomorrow in Huntsville, Athens, Decatur, 98 tomorrow in Moulton, Florence, 97 tomorrow in Russellville. But again, a little cooler across northeast Alabama. Of course, cooler it's a relative term. 94 tomorrow in Arab and Albertville still got 96 so over in Scottsboro. In case you're curious, the last time we saw temperatures higher than 95 degrees was August 10th. So it's been a while since we've seen this kind of heat and I think for that reason, this kind of heat is going to continue to be a bit of a shock to the system, especially when you factor in the fact that uh, dew points, they're in the low and mid 70s. That sends heat indices well into the triple digits, anywhere between 102 and 107 degrees Thursday afternoon. Again, heat indices are going to be a little lower across northeast Alabama compared to everywhere else across north Alabama, southern middle Tennessee. We're going to continue this process as we head into your Friday. I've got a forecast high right around 97 degrees. Heat indices are going to be anywhere between 107 to 110. Things begin to change though. By the time we get to Saturday and and then especially through Sunday and Monday. Remember, I said the next real opportunity for rain was going to come on Sunday, strongly correlated to the fact that our temperatures are going to be a little lower through the back half of the weekend and then early into next week. So while it is going to be hot, kind of time to remember some of those common sense heat safety tips. Limit your times outdoors, stick to light colored and lighter clothing, stay hydrated with water. Gatorade sounds like it's going to be great, but it's got a lot of sugar. It's not that great. And obviously alcohol is a big no. If you need to, exercise early in the day or later in the evening. Don't forget to check on your pets and on the elderly. Have a good look at the next seven days. Like I said, we are going to begin to see some improvement. Temperatures are going to drop off a little bit, but that's also associated with increased opportunities for rain through Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday of next week. So one of the key takeaways I got is making sure if you're going to do any kind of rigorous work outside mm -hmm. to do it early tomorrow. Yeah, typically between uh, 7 and 11 at the latest, really anything after 11 o'clock, it's just going to be simply too miserable and you're going to overexert yourself a lot quicker. Yeah, so you'd probably want to be inside. Mm -hmm. Yes, thank you.